Hi everyone, welcome to IT Man Channel. I'm Yom Madrid. Excited to have you with me today about High BI, the high quality tool for IB operation. So I zoom in the detail. Let's talk about the flow of right now and hopefully you get it to the why I want to recommend this tool for you. First, let's look about this IBI. This is a simple BI written with molecular framework. And when I have the endpoint like this one, I can identify the IBI. So this is the IBI endpoint. And the base loss is sending in the name and quantity. So the flow often has to copy this one from which lead to which time. This is why I can define the time or interface by on your discern data. So I can read a name like class three class. And then I can choose the option I want, like, okay, this uh, outcome message you interface set of time, I can earn on or off. Or I want you not to do the validation before I copy I can use this with yes, that is why you go. But with this one, it's quite simple because you only have two services and you can do it like a few times. That's it. But imagine if you had more than 20 services, a lot of endpoints. How do you do this manual test time? It's not a good way to go. All right. So that's why I, when I find out this project called IABR, and if they have pretty good documentation of why they uh, go to resources, someone working with IBR interaction. And by on the documents in here, you can see a similar thing I just tried to explain. The flow you would do like, you're gonna use that script to define the model data for API. Then for sending like post data or fetching that or get data from server, you need to define the in and out of the endpoint. Then you write a abstraction on, on the data Maybe an API request wrapper with ICOs, any tool similar to branch or night branch, depending on what you are using, it didn't matter. But this is a flaw. And with the high API here, the way it do it, if you get is the open API or SWAT go fine, you can again write API player nicely for you. And you don't need to write this manual. Right. So that why I think this is a good tool. And second point, this tool is a fork of OpenAI that script not gain. So this is popular one or in JavaScript ecosystem more had more than 2000 star and it's been a while like I don't recall exactly time. But when you see the history here it is there more than four years and a lot of people are using this one. But the issue is the, the, the maintainer is quite busy with this sub this project in order to good shape and maintain it now. So that when I found this one I think okay this is a good time to do this stuff. Before I jump second thing about the demo session we need to talk about the guest status of this project is quite easy. The main feature here if you provide the uh, open API Two, three, and three, one. Discern or YAML file. They're gonna generate the client for you. You can choose different kind of client, fetch, ICOs, Angular, and OCS. And the usage is quite simple. You don't need to install on the project. You can just set up it with NPS. We install the package from NPS DS. Just that's it. But if you want a more flexible, I would suggest to install at the dev dependent. And as to the approaches, give it a name. For example, this can you can get open API TS or any name you want. Then give it a file. Just copy this file. For the demo purpose, I already had this on my terminal here. So this is the way I do. I had open API TS choice generate IDK, which means and whenever I run the task of generating IDK, you run the task and is we run the command and generate the obos on generate IDK. 
So this is my config. I get a name called openair.getconfig.get. And get the inputs and the output where I want to generate this one. One more thing for me, I often put this under the git you know, okay, you don't need checking those files, just generate and use it on the time. You want to view the project. And the name here is called Molecular's API. This is very important for me, it's easy to see when it's generated. Okay, maybe you have different duration, different services. So for now, I use this one it's called Molecular API. And this means this is quite simple. It's called client TS under the web sample. And it, I import molecular API name. So if I change this one, like molecular demo API, it run again the task. Now it's already run. Now then I go to client, I'm going to see the error. Right, what I say. Locally, API. The correct name would be Demo API. But for this purpose, I can rename it. So it's looking the same thing. And then here, a few configs here I want to highlight. The first one is format for. Um, for me, I, I don't want it like the formatting for generation. I turn it. And also, they had option linking. And the same reason, this is default is four, so I don't need to spend this. The second point is higher. So they had a few ways you can give the name, and then you need to have, for example, I still also need to find what is the key dependent for the, the client, API client. And the U option, this is why when you call BI, look on the client here. So, this one, when you call it, even though it's just only one parameter, but it's, it's sent as an object because maybe you have more than two, you you will not good when you you come out separate this to ask more parameters. Maybe easy to get the mid thing ordering of param. So that's why you the option two is, is the you see this one is also well get that of a good product. The enum is quite controversial, but for me, I often use this at the con. You know that on that strip, you can define, you can find the enum at the end, like something, or you can define con something and then you use the that call as con to define. And so the way I choose is to use the yes strip, which is the as con again. This last is for the integration. And then now when I call this one, the good one is if I have the open API file, the file I use the generation. So you see this one, this the endpoint, and then they have the prison, they have the task. So the task register here. When you define the, the task, this will here. If I got API client dot something you're gonna see. Richter and products because that are two services I have on this project. They ask task for Richter. Or if you don't have that, you're gonna call three questions. This at this moment, you don't see anything else. And secondly, on this one I had another one is called product. And product here I send it at the request body. This is team. This is the ask card. When the response I got if I know ask cast response something wrong is gonna see us all to do what it is and you see the one I can see so you see this one the hello when I saw the IBI express the hello it written me a string and secondly here if I saw the hello I give the name I see but I can change it to something else like my name, then I can, you see here the response is welcome screen. 
Similarly here, if I check if this is kind of 200 ask class price point, you can jump over to the combination of the IBR and you're gonna see this one. Define the, the data type when you request respond and this is as part the duration size of the string. So everything here is generated under the generate IDK code. So that's a good point about this one. And I also can checking and you see here the type of this one is as class respond digital, which means I, I can call out the message when I on this one. So for the this day more, I'm gonna open a new tab and I'm gonna run them. So this one will run on my local and the IBM is ready and it's generate the water file. And on the right side, I'm gonna run the the assemble. So this is assemble client, the web client, which means because I generate the fetching by using like web client. And you can do this. Be the fine and so on the right on the left you see this when i call this see the first one is hello my close this is another iphone welcome something and then you ask one iphone to your class this is what i do so if i change this one like product one doesn't matter much and if i run again i'm gonna see this and if I, I give something wrong, let's say on this request body, I missing something. The, the way we define the IDK, the IBI client by on open API was go fine. So this will tell you right away from that strip missing the parameter. Similar here, if I delete here a number, then this this is not defined yet, so it's done. But if I give another one here, we say this parameter is not defined, not had any argument, but you get one argument. And the way to fix in this one is is by depend on the the way you if you have the control on RBI, you can define the in the file of the parameter. For example, here this this required body here because on the product services. Has one file to define is called product video and the schema. And on this one, I have everything like what is this field? This is the field for product and get a sample of this field. Here. The number, price, then the building field. Then, oh, this is why I do this one. Then on squad, I can the command. This convention for what the tool. Oh, okay. This is what I sent. What I got from the response. With this one, you can see this one. It has right why the request body here need to be the ask card video. And the ask card video is to have name, quantity, price, and building. All right. The next one is about opening up by tool. This is the website. They have a lot of Fantastic community, community driving this kind of team modern for open VR. I don't know if you work in your different languages for me, it's nice free, but someone maybe go, maybe I don't know, PSP. So you can find the tool on .NET and you can find the tool that you want on Python and then you can get the right IBI plan easily. And if you find something good and you don't follow on the website, you can submit open iTunes here. Yeah. Thank you everyone. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye bye.